If you want to see how I made this salmon, continue watching this video. Hey, this is your girl SJ. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making a teriyaki sauce for salmon. First, you want to get some apple cider vinegar. Most people do use rice wine vinegar, but since apple cider has benefits, I'm using a cap full of it. A cap full is probably equal to about a teaspoon. You can use more depending on how much you want to make. Now I'm going to use some soy sauce. Now I don't measure my ingredients. I just pretty much look for taste. So if I had to tell you, it's probably about a tablespoon of soy sauce. The next thing to add to this mixture is minced garlic. Now you can take a fresh garlic and break it down which is definitely okay to do. I just happen to keep a jar of this in my refrigerator. And it's a spoonful for me because I do like garlic. So it's basically up to preference. Preferably at least a teaspoon is good. Next, you want to go ahead and make your teriyaki sweet. And you do that by adding brown sugar. Now the brown sugar is based off of preference of how sweet you want it to be. I put in four teaspoons full heaping teaspoons full of this mix and then what you'll do next is stir it up these are all the ingredients that you need just to make the teriyaki sauce for this salmon that we are about to make now you can use it on chicken shrimp anything your heart so desired that you want to taste like teriyaki stir it up really well and then once you get it stirred up taste it you want to make sure it's your desired taste it's got enough sweetness in it or if it doesn't have enough sweetness in it definitely feel free to add any of the ingredients you feel that you might want to add more of now you're going to take your salmon now i've already rinsed mine off and i'm going to put it into this aluminum foil because i don't want to do dishes you know how it is now that the salmon is into the pan what i'm going to do is take my sauce that i just created and pour it onto the salmon now, of course, I'm gonna get every last drop in here, so bear with me. <laughs> here we go. I think I got it all. That's the whole goal, to make sure I don't have any left over. Now you want to take your spatula and spread the sauce around. This is real food, y'all. I'm spreading this around. I'm thinking, you know what? I think I need some more sauce because I made it for a smaller amount. You know, this is a bigger piece of fish. And if you can see right here at the ends, I'm gonna need to cut these fishes down because they're hanging over. I don't want that to happen. I went to grab my kitchen scissors. I'm gonna cut this side over here so that it won't be folded over and miss out on getting some of that good flavor. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut this side off over here and put it on the side so it can get some of that other flavor too. And yes, before you come for me in the comments, I did leave that piece of gristle there. I sure did. But I realized I need more sauce. So I'm going to go ahead and go through the process and make some more sauce because I want some more on there. So I start off again with the apple cider vinegar. <laughs> and I'm showing you as I go as if we never did this before. And because I'm using the same ingredients all over again, I did not rinse out the pan. I want every bit of flavor I can get. Except the only thing different is that on a soy sauce, I decided to show you what it's like by putting it in the cap. So as I use this cap, I'm finding out that it is about a tablespoon when it's all said and done. And if you remember like before, we used the minced garlic also in this mixture. I'm still getting that same heaping spoonful of garlic. Like I said, it's all based off of what you feel works for you now we're going to reach for the brown sugar and if you watch my watch you see what time it is as i'm doing this huh <laughs> okay but only snapchat people probably know when i actually did this <laughs> all right so i'm going to put some sugar brown sugar in there not sugar brown sugar into this mix and stir it up again does this sound familiar looks familiar too and don't forget, after you get to stirring it up to the desired look or blend, you want to make sure you taste it because it needs to have that flavor that you want it to be like. And the flavor that I felt mm, good 
Mm, good. So I'm going to pour it over those two pieces that I had put on the side. And then pour the rest all over the, the other piece of fish. I keep saying fish. I know it's salmon, but salmon is a type of fish. Now, after you do all this, you're going to marinate it. So I suggest you marinate it for at least an hour. You can just flip it over side to side and maybe do it for 15, 20 minutes. It just depends on your choices. I've waited about an hour. All right, so and I'm gonna marinate it. See the shiny side and see the dull side. Well, the shiny side keeps the heat in. We're marinating, so the shiny side's going up and then it's going into the refrigerator to marinate. After we marinate, it's ready to go into the oven. What do I do? I flip the shiny side down to hold the heat in and dull side up. I place it in the oven on 350 for about 30 minutes. And then this is what I got. Yes. It Now for some people, it may be a little light. So what you can do before you marinate it, you can pan sear it to give it that darker color or you can add more of the marinade to give it the darker color after the cooking as you can see i show you the flakes and you know fish flakes when it's done and this is definitely a flaky fish and it tastes great it's like the easiest teri so teriyaki sauce that i have ever made Hopefully you found this an easy way to make teriyaki sauce. I just happened to put mine over salmon. Be sure to hit that like button. And thanks again for coming back to the channel. It's your girl SJ with Real Beauty, Real Food, and Real Life.